talk about a thought experiment. You, you mentioned something earlier, which is what made me think of this, right? So you said there's somebody out there maybe who's going to be 150 years old, one person that will concentrate all of these genes in perfection and they'll get to be 150. And if we could look at that person's genes, we might have an answer. I would push back and say, or not, right? It might be that we're discounting the stochastic nature of this. And even if you found that 150 year old person, and even if you identified which genes played a role, the likelihood that you'll identify which environmental factors turned on those genes or amplified some and attenuated others seems very low. So it begs this thought experiment, right? If you took 10,000 identical people with whatever program you have of the perfect genotype. So this is 10,000 people that have as many of the good genes as possible and is, they have none of the bad genes. We put them in a time capsule and we let them live their lives, but now we randomize them to, I'm making this up, but three groups, right? One group is the base case, go and live a normal life. One group is the do everything bad that you possibly can. So I want you to start smoking when you're 15. I want you drinking three drinks a day, never exercise. Uh, you're only allowed to eat at McDonald's. Oh wait, you go. And then the, the third group becomes the do everything right. You know, we're gonna exercise, we're gonna, we, we, you know, we do the opposite. Give me your prediction of how long each of those three groups lives. <laughs> so, Peter, I was trying to do things simple and you complicate me again. <laughs> and I'm taking back. First of all, when I said 150, human, I, I think the maximal of, our, of human lifespan as a species for us is about 115 years, even if we argue, even if there's 122 somewhere. Okay. And, and so, so, uh, and, and, and so I'm, I'm not sure. So this, and, and we die before the age of 80. So we're, t we're talking about 35 years that we can realize. It's a lot of years. We should realize that. But I think aging will improve by other methods and mechanisms that can break eventually this yep. 115 years and maybe get us to 150. The experiment, the experiment, that, the, 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 you know, when people are asking me, when will we leave 150? I said, oh, in 150 years, because even if we start the experiment now, it'll take 150 years to get there, right? We wouldn't know. Uh, so, so of course, this experiment, I, I, I don't know what... what, uh, uh, what I'll what, tell you what I'm getting at in the experiment. I want to understand how in the perfect genetic uh, makeup, how much can environment hurt or better what is already a genetic lottery? I, I totally understand. And I, I would take you back to the, uh, and I meant to ask you that when you described that APO E4 was a 20 fold risk and became smaller and smaller, well, became smaller at whom? and how their lives were different than those that we knew 20 and 40 years ago that have the APOE4 genotype, right? Yes, it gets back to the point you raised about your grandfather versus your father right. versus you. Right, the environment, both in what we do, both in medical treatment, in surgery, in all, all yes. those things, uh, absolutely. And, and so you're right, uh, we, we think that there are master switch to longevity, and some of them we're doing with exercise and uh, and and food, right? So you don't really have a sense of how much longer the group three could live than the group one when you basically put amazing genes in everybody. Yeah, I, I, you know, it's not, it's, it's not the things that I'm doing predictions yeah. on. No, it's just it's 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 interesting to me because what where I'm really going at a macro level is. Most people don't have these genes. So the only interesting question is the contrapositive of that, which is once you have a sense of what that could be, now for the rest of us, the 9,999 9, of us who don't have centenarian genes, how much does environment make a difference? And I, I know the answer is significant, but I'm curious as to how much you think 
It is. For me, it's more, you know, some centenarians are coming to me and said, okay, what can you do for me? And I'm like, you're it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do anything for you. So, <laughs> so, so for me, the question, mm-hmm. if those centenarians are willing and I'm starting to exercise them and to change their diet, am I going to kill them or, 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 or help them? And I, I really, I, that's how I'm thinking yeah, about yeah. it. And I don't yeah. know the answer. <laughs> Thank you.